In this video, I'd like to talk about doing things and going for things that you really want to. So let's get into that. Hello and welcome to Write Your Own Story. For those who don't know me, I'm a counsellor, a hypnotherapist, a life coach and a hypnotherapy supervisor. And this channel is all about giving you some tips and some tricks and some techniques to help you make your life a little bit better. So this episode is about doing or going for something that you really want to do. And this is something that came up for me recently. Now, for those who are watching this on YouTube, you may notice something different. What is it? What is it? What is it? To take what, what is it? Somebody tell me what's going on. Brian. Say it. Say it. I got a hair transplant at the beginning of June and I had to make some serious decisions and things cropped up for me before I decided to do it. And I thought it might be an idea for me to discuss those things with you to see that, you know, I'm not a Jedi master sitting on a mountaintop oblivious to all this stuff. You must feel the force around you. Stuff gets to me too. And I have to really go down the rabbit hole with myself and try and figure out what the hell is going on. So I'm coming out from that angle. So I'm gonna to talk to you about my thought process, um, the good, the bad and the ugly, and why I made the decision to do it, all right? So let's get into that. So I'm 51 at the moment, I had to double check. I'm 51 years of age and I've been losing my hair since I was about 23, 24 years of age. And the first time I was made aware of it was by someone else. Now, what used to happen was I used to go to the same barber in Liverpool, always got my hair cut by the same guy. And he'd finished cutting my hair one day and he was really quick. And I said to him, either you're getting um, either you're getting quicker or I didn't have that much hair to cut. And I made like a little, you know, daft laugh. And he said, no, no, you're losing your hair. And I said, what? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not losing my hair. He said, no, you are. You're losing your hair. I said, no, I'm not. And he was like, yeah, you are. And I didn't know what to say because the barber shop was full of guys who were all getting their hair cut. Some glancing over at me. I felt quite embarrassed to be honest. So I got home as soon as I could and I was looking at my hair in the mirror, I had the mirror at the back of my head and I was thinking, this guy must, you know, must need glasses. I'm not losing my hair. He was right, I was wrong. And I just didn't realize it at the time, but it wasn't a very pleasant way to find out, I've got to say. So I started losing my hair since I was about 23 years of age. Now, it's, I've got to be honest, it's never really bothered me. Of course I would like to have not been losing my hair, but I thought, well, I am. Big deal, get over it. The thing that I really used to notice was when I was doing YouTube videos. And as I was in the editing process, I'd be looking at myself, cause I had to, on the screen. And I'd be thinking, wow, you really are, um, you really are losing your hair there. Now, some trains of thoughts popped up. I'm a big fan of, if there's something you want to do, and you can do it, then do it. In fact, that's one of the definitions of success. If you can do it and you should do it and you want to do it, do it. Okay, so it's can, you can do it, you should do it, you want to do it, then do it. That's one of the definitions of success. Definition of failure, failure. You can do it, you should do it, you want to do it, but you won't, okay? Bit of a big difference. So applying that, this to my head, I could do it. Well, I had let someone else do the procedure. Should I do it? Well, that one took a little bit more thought. You know, did I want to do it? The more I thought about it, I thought, yeah, actually, I do. And then I went ahead and, and, and got the procedure done. But it wasn't as simple as that because there was a cost implication. And with the cost implication, I was really thinking to myself, that's a lot of money to spend on getting this done. And part of me felt guilty about spending that much money on myself. And I thought, well, that money could be better spent elsewhere doing something else. Maybe I could give that money to my children. Um, you know, I can pay this bill, I can pay that bill. I could buy a bit of kit for my business. You know, all these different thoughts came up as well as what will people think? Now this surprised me, to be honest, this what will people think? Because I was thinking, 
What will my clients think? What will my family think? What about my friends? What about my children? What about people who watch these videos or that I make on YouTube? What will they think all of a sudden? Will they think I'm going through a midlife crisis? And I realized I was spending far too long on this question, what will people think? And I was thinking, why am I spending so much time worrying about what other people think about what I'm doing with my life? And as soon as I got past that hurdle, everything became clear. So the next minute the plane was booked, the uh, procedure was booked. I went out to Istanbul and I was back within four days with a very, very sore head that turned a bit scabby and, um, and it and it's gonna it's gonna sort itself out. I haven't decided what look I'm going for yet. Am I going for you know the short, uh, snazzy look? I'm gonna get some product on there, or am I gonna go like the big Bob Ross the, uh, look with the big perm going on? Who knows? The world is my oyster. So the reason I'm talking about this stuff for yourself and making it about yourself is if there's something that you want to do, and what other people might say is in there for you. Really, other people probably don't think about you that much. Not that they don't think much of you, that's a different thing entirely, but they may not think about you that much. Now, if they're really good friends, they will want you to be happy as long as what you're doing is healthy. You know, if you were gonna do something that was gonna hurt yourself, there'd probably be an issue. But if you're doing something and it's gonna cost some money to do, and it's gonna make you happier or healthier, maybe even wealthier, who knows? You need, to, you need to do you. You need to live your life. That's why it's called your life. It's not called someone else's life. It's your life. And really, this is all you've got. All you've got is your life. At some point, you're going to fall off your perch and that's going to be the end of it. Who knows? I hope it's a long time. So you've got to live your life. And it's important to do things, I would suggest, that make you happy. Now, me getting my hair done, it's not really hurting anyone. Am I surprised with how it looks? Yeah, it's still taking me by surprise. It still feels a bit unusual. I don't really spend a lot, a lot of time talk, looking at myself in the mirror. But when I do, I catch myself and it's like, okay, that's, that's looking a bit different today. <laughs> so who knows what it's going to look like. But with yourself, what is it that you really want to go for that you haven't done? Is there something that you've thought, I'd really like to do that? And you haven't done it. And it's like that little, it's like that itch that needs to be scratched. Maybe that itch isn't there all the time. But every now and again, it comes up and you might think, oh, well, that'd be nice, that'd be nice. And then you don't do it. I would encourage you to do it. Now, making decisions about doing things or not doing things, that comes up a lot in my own therapy sessions. A lot of the time in my therapy sessions, people either want to start something or stop something. Sometimes it's a little bit of both. So if you want help starting something or stopping something, my contact details are going to be in the chat, in the, sorry, my contact details are going to be in the description below. And you can get in touch. We can have a free consultation about this. But I would encourage you, if there's some, I would really encourage you and I mean this down to my core, if there's something that you want to go for, go for it. As long as you can afford it and you're not hurting anyone else, go for it. There's only one of you and you've only got your life. All right? So, sermon over, because this is a bit of a passionate subject about people going for the goals. I get inspired when I see people going for the goals. I love it when they've thought they can't and then they do and then they succeed i mean that ticks all my boxes truly it really does so i hope you've enjoyed this episode of write your own story um who knows you might see me next time and i've got a big massive bob ross perm going on maybe not i think not so i hope you're doing well please remember to do the like share and subscribe the reason i ask that is because it lets youtube know that this content is worth spreading around and sharing the love also if you subscribe you get automatically notified every time i post a new episode so for the time being i will say bye bye my best wishes to you this is james and this is write your own story bye bye